we are the last long run before the race in 10 days this is definitely definitely the last long run i i promise i promise if you've been following on strava you know it's a little crazy getting ready for a 50 mile race but i want to get my legs used to pushing through the pain which basically hits me usually around mile 22 when you're going fast but if you slow the pace down a little bit just reel it in maybe 20 to 30 seconds a mile i i know because i've already done it in training last week you can push through that 32 mile barrier and then in, in the race if you get to 32 feeling decent not perfect but decent you got 18 miles to go 18 miles to go so that is the goal today push through that barrier and uh, i've got my nathan handhelds i'm going to explain all of the equipment that i use for a long run once i get back this is an ultimate direction best nathan handhelds don't tell the owners of those companies but i'm still trying to figure out which brand i like better I, i'm 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 well i'm leaning toward these guys but we'll see what else oh yeah i'm dealing with some blisters on my heels so those are all taped up got those taped up this morning glad i remembered that and from yesterday no two days ago remember i had to super glue my hokas what they're only like three weeks old maybe four weeks old so hoka if you're listening to this send me some new hoka challengers i would appreciate it because these guys should last more than three weeks in my humble opinion well i guess with the miles i've been doing um i guess with the miles i've been doing is that like three months in normal people time i know it's like crazy what's <laughs> what's going on here with the miles i've been doing i i guess i understand but um anyway they're super glued up hopefully they're good to go for today i think they'll make it for one more run all right, like I said, I'm off. I'll be back later today, and I will explain all of this equipment in better detail for you. All right, let's go. Am I good? Are we good here? Okay, today's run, as somebody just commented on Strava, might fall into that uh, don't do this at home category for children out there watching. Don't do this at home. Don't go run 40 miles unless you have experience and unless you have a little equipment. A little equipment, all right? And that's what I want to talk to you about right now. What do I wear when I run 40 miles? Okay, so I have an Ultimate Direction vest here. This is an Anton vest 2.0, I believe. It's three years old. It's three years old. There's a bladder. There's, let me take these out. There's a bladder that goes right in here. And I, it can hold two liters. I think I had about a, a liter and a half in the bladder. And then it has two water bottles in the front. One here, one there. Boom. And I believe these are 18 ounces. Maybe 16. I think they're 18 ounces. So we're going to call it 36 ounces of water in the front and then a liter and a half in the back. So that is my ultimate direction vest. I love it, the vest, but I must be, I must be honest. I'm being, I'm being wooed and swayed by Nathan's design in their handhelds. So I also, these are handhelds that go in your hands as I explained earlier, boom, like that. You just go like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So each bottle holds 12 ounces, 12 ounces. So this is 24. So 36 plus 24 is whoo, 50 ounces of water plus the bladder, a liter and a half. So that is the amount of liquid. These, I had three of the bottles had Gatorade. The rest was water. And that got me through 40 miles. Not bad. For food, I had two baby foods. So those pouches that you squeeze, the strawberry, banana, cream goodness is what I prefer. And so two baby foods, uh, two gels, which I did not use, a Stinger waffle, love it, and then two packs of Stinger gummies, and I only used one of the packs. So, I didn't even use all the nutrition, I probably, it never hurts to eat too much when you're running that far, but I didn't use them. So, I love, that's what I wear when I run 40 miles, this right here, whoa, but I must say, I might be getting swayed over to the Nathan side. I My next ultra backpack um, vest, I should say, might have to be a Nathan. I don't know. I like this ultimate direction, but I literally have scars across my chest from these 
these, uh, one second, things here that clip. So these clips have li literally given me scars across my chest from the rubbing and the chafing and the literally bleeding. Like last summer was the first one. I ran, I think 20 miles, 22 miles, and I came back and I was like bleeding down my chest and True Love just looked at me like, what? This was supposed to be a safe sport. Shh, it's pretty safe, it's pretty safe. Okay, so that's what I wear for nutrition. And then I got my North Face hat. I got my Smith glasses. I like those glasses because they're big and they cover a ton of your face and there's no rim. And so it's just easy to see everything, including the, uh, the, the bears and the lions and the snakes, oh my. <laughs> I'm back, I almost forgot. And then this, remember two days ago, I said one more run in these Hoka Challengers ATR3. I put super glue. It worked like a charm. Ace Hardware, thank you for the super glue. It was amazing. In fact, I might get another 100 miles out of these babies. Just kidding. But you never know. Well, okay, this side blew out. This side did blow out right there. But this side held up. This was the bad side. Like my, my pinky toe was literally poking out. Uh, as of two days ago, but I super glued it. They did great. A new pair is on the way for the race in California in T minus nine days, baby. So, love you all. Seek beauty. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. And love each other.